Lights, camera, action. Hi, I'm Joni Rizzio, and welcome to the 15th annual Courageous Persuaders Awards Celebration Banquet, where the stars of this show are high school students. These students have put together 30-second television commercials aimed at middle school students against the dangers of underage drinking, and they're all vying for scholarship money. This program has grown tremendously through the years. It started in the state of Michigan, grown nationally, and now internationally, including students from Canada and even Nigeria. We've had over 500 entries and over 737 students participating. So stick around while I interview these very talented and courageous persuaders. Hi, what's your name? Jacob Horn. And Jacob, what school are you representing? Uh, Frederick B. Pankow Center. Well, tell me about your commercial. Uh, the commercial is pretty simple. It just starts off like a regular beer commercial, mm -hmm. then that get it gets interrupted and tells you kind of the true facts of drinking and that it can be very harmful. Very good. What impact do you think this commercial will have on middle school students? Uh, I think it will impact them very much. It will show them a kind of a different side that even though the media and commercials may say one thing, that's really not what's actually happening out there. It's just some they make up. Excellent. And would you encourage other students to get involved in Courageous Persuaders? Very much I would. And yes. why is that? Uh, it's just overall a fun activity, and it also just kind of broadens your mind and gets you to look around. And if you're also in the film or videography, it just gives you a nice little chance to experiment. Excellent. Well, good luck to you. All right. Thank you. I'm Tucker Simmons. And Tucker, what school are you representing? The Career Line Tech Center. And that's in Holland? Yep. What about a three-hour drive from here, right? Yeah, it was about three hours. Well, thank you for coming. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me about your commercial. Um, well, it's called Beer No Beer, and I base it off like a game show type thing. So I hadn't really seen that before, so I thought I'd try something new. My teacher really liked it, and I think middle schoolers understand game shows, so I thought they could connect to that pretty well. Actually, as soon as you said game shows, I'm like, wow, that hasn't been done before, and it sounds really creative. Yeah, I... I thought it was a good idea, so and obviously I made it to the top 60, so. Congratulations. Thank you. My name's Daniel Gwen. And Daniel, what school are you representing? Uh, Vicksburg High School. How far is Vicks Vicksburg from here? Uh, it's about, like, a little bit more than two hours. Okay, two-hour drive. Well, tell me about your commercial. Uh, my commercial is about this kid going into, like, a sort of a market, and he goes to see the price of some uh, whiskey, and it's like $30, and he's like, I don't want to spend that type of money. So he goes over to the soda section and sees soda for like a good deal, like five for $5, and he just takes those with him instead. Very cool. What impact do you think this commercial will have on middle school students? I think it'll show that like you don't need to spend a ton of money or to anything just to risk your life or to do anything dumb in any way. And Isaiah, what school are you representing? Howell High School. Great. Well, tell me about your commercial. Well, my teacher pretty much gave us this project in class, and I guess the idea just came to me. He gave us the option of either underage drinking or texting and driving. 
And so I chose texting and driving because I feel it impacts the younger generation more than underage drinking would. And um, I really, in my video, I really just used an iPhone in the video because everyone seems to want to have the newest and latest smartphone. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to have like an old generation phone where it really doesn't connect to anybody. Mm -hmm. So that's like, I made my video a little more modern that way and so it connects more. Your timing's perfect because this is the first year they're having a texting uh, yeah. category. Yeah, that is. And yeah. you are you are the op wonderful opportunity for you to do that. What impact do you think this commercial will have on middle school students? I, the impact, I think, it'll just show how dangerous texting and driving really can be because I know there's all those facts and statistics out there. But just taking your eyes off the road for one second can really do more wonders than you think it can. So. Well, well said, and good luck to you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Logan Palm. Hey, Logan, and what high school are you representing? I'm from the Panko Performing Arts Building. And where is that? It's in Chesterfield, Michigan. Okay, Chesterfield, very good. Tell me about your commercial. Um, my commercial, um, I kind of based it around the idea that you can call drinking whatever you want, mm -hmm. and it still means drinking. And I wanted it to come across as, like, you can call it whatever you want, but um, I just said that. Um, you can call it whatever you want, but it's still drinking. And I made it where progressively throughout the video, the characters get more and more intoxicated. And so it shows the consequences of it as it goes. What impact do you think your commercial will have on middle school students? Um, I think it'll show them that you can't, you, you can't like make an excuse for it. Mm -hmm. It's still getting drunk. It's still um, drinking and it's wrong. So I think that the video shows that as the title says, you can call it whatever you want, it's still getting drunk. I'm Bradley Wenzel. Okay, Bradley, and what high school are you representing? I represent St. Clair Tech. Okay, and tell me about your commercial. My commercial is called Equilibrium Thoughts. And I like that title. Thanks. I really wanted to just have an impact on all the children, just so that they realize that family is everything, and that if you don't, if you want to make choices to impact your family make sure they're good ones not negative ones that could hurt you long down the road and that sounds like that's how it's going to impact the middle school students as well is that what you're getting at yeah I just wanted to broadly just impact everybody actually just to think about what they do actually before they do it well good well said and good luck to you thank you hi and tell me your name Zachary Martin and Zachary what school you're representing um, the LISD Tech Center and where's that I'm um, Lenaway. All right. And Adrian. Adrian. Okay. Wow. How far of a drive is that for you? Um, well, I live in Tecumseh, so it's kind of like a two-hour drive. Okay. Well, thank you for being a part of this. Thank you. Tell me about your commercial. Um, basically, it's a fear tactic, basically, um, kind of leading the person to a positive way um, instead of, you know, um, creating yourself a dangerous path. So. Okay. And what impact do you think this commercial will have on middle school students? Um, basically an influence of not make stupid choices, so. <laughs> well said, that's exactly it. And thank you to you, and good luck to you. Yep, thank you. Hi, my name is Megan Anderson. And Megan, what school are you representing? Uh, West Ottawa High School. Oh, what about a three-hour drive from here? Yep, about yeah. that. Yeah, well, thank you for coming. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a very cool opportunity for me, so I'm that's, excited. That's great. Megan, tell me about your commercial. Well, I just kind of made a quick spin I uh, like it was an offering of a drink saying that oh it'll be good oh it'll be fun like peer pressure and then I spun it back and then would you like these drinks and all the bad things that come with it Ooh, well said what impact do you think this will have on middle school students I'm really hoping that it kind of opens the eyes of the middle schoolers to kind of see, oh, this isn't something that's cool. It can actually ruin my life and it can actually make things a lot worse and a lot harder for me and my friends and my family and everyone around me. So hopefully. My name is Taina Santiago. Beautiful name. <laughs> thank you. Thank wow. you. And where, what school are you represent? I'm representing Utica Center for Science and Industry. So that's where I go for school. Okay. <laughs> and uh, tell me uh, tell me about your commercial. Um, me and my partner Colin, we made a commercial that's basically just all animation. We didn't film anything, but it's um, pretty much a number rolling and it counts up to 185,000, which represents the number of uh, kids or underage kids who get injured or die in car accidents due to drink, drunk driving. So we thought that was like effective and that it states a big number and 
it's surprising so yeah and it's animation I bet middle school kids like the animation yes yes we were thinking that they would like that so we wanted to target that audience too so you know so what impact do you think it'll have on your, your commercial on the middle school students I think it will really show them the huge amount of people that are affected by drunk driving and the amount of young people who are affected by drunk driving like themselves so I think that'll give a big impact on them yeah Hi, I'm Ryan Apley from Plymouth High School. Hi, Ryan, and tell me about your commercial. Uh, well, I had a lot of fun making my commercial because I was uh, experimenting with stop motion, which is something I've never done before, oh, sure. and uh, I just it was a lot of fun to make. What impact do you think your commercial will have against middle school students? Um, I hope that uh, when middle school students see my commercial, they can see they see that uh, so you don't always know exactly what you're getting yourself into when you take that drink. And so I hope that they'll be discouraged to drink after seeing what consequences might, you might, uh, might happen if you uh, take that drink. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing your commercial. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'm Melissa Millenbach. My name is Matthew Millenbach. And what school are you representing? Gross Point South. All right. And tell me about your commercial. Who wants to go first? Well, it's basically, it's more humorous than anything. It's satire on another commercial. But... Uh, I think in terms of the effect that it'll have on middle schoolers, I think just the humor, the humor in it is enough to convince them, I guess. I think that's the intended effect. And what was your role in the commercial? Um, I filmed it and edited it. Okay, so you're the editor, the filmmaker, and you are the writer and creator of this? And star. Okay. Oh, I love that, and star too. Very good. And tell everybody out there how they should become involved in Courageous Persuaders. Why is that? Well, first of all, this is fun. I mean, I'm getting this interview right now. It's a blast in itself. And... Uh, I guess just the message it sends and the way it's, you know, they do it with this award show on the video. I think that's really, I think that's really cool. Hi, I'm Ryan Wright. Ryan, what school are you representing? I go to Grand Blank High School. Grand Blank, how far of a drive is that from here? Uh, it's about an hour. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Ryan, tell me about your commercial. Um, well, basically what it is is it's all the things that um, when you start drinking or anything like that, if you start... It's basically all the things that you could be missing out on in life. Tell me about Courageous Persuaders and why you got involved in it. Um, well, I got involved in it, in it because my teacher showed me. He showed me the competition, and he knew that I liked uh, video production and making videos. So he told me that I should try to enter it, and so I decided to. How did you come up with your idea for the commercial? Um, it was kind of just a spur of the moment. I just kind of came up with it. Uh, while I was driving in the car. I'm Alexis Hamilton. And Lex, where are you, uh, where, what school are you representing? Um, the LISD Tech Center. And where is that? In Adrian, Michigan. Oh, how far of a drive is Adrian, Michigan? Like an hour and a half, two hours. Okay, so you came from a little bit to, to yeah. get here. <laughs> Tell me about your commercial. Um, Shattered is about underage drinking, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, it goes through like the things that you risk when you're underage drink, like what you can put. Um, I use shattered as like a term, I guess, to... I like that term. Like what ruins it, I guess, yeah. kind of. <laughs> okay, okay. And what impact do you think this will have on middle school students? Um, hopefully a big one. Um, young students get caught up in underage drinking and maybe they'll realize, hopefully by my video, that it, <clears throat> the toll it can take on your life. So. Tell me about how and why did you get involved in Courageous Persuaders? Um, actually, my tech center class the my school that I'm representing um, it's one of our assignments that we have to do and so that was my original way I got into it but then so everyone had to create a video and so that's how I got here today so would you recommend other high school students getting involved in this definitely because you can get an opportunity to get like scholarships and stuff and it's fun uh, my name is Colin Airwood Colin what school are you representing I represent the Utica Center for Science and Industry Right. Well, Colin, tell me about your commercial. Um, our commercial starts off as um, numbers ticking upward, and um, it's an animation. And um, it begins, you're not 100% sure exactly what's going on, but um, it's um, very sound effect driven. You hear um, a party, you hear um, some bottles clacking, um, then you hear um, a kid get in a car, and he ends up getting in an accident. And when he gets in this accident, these numbers stop ticking, mm -hmm. and when these numbers stop, it represents how many, um, how many teenagers have been um, in alcohol-related accidents in a year. Wow, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. What impact do you think your commercial will have on middle school students? Um, I think it'll have a very strong impact. Um, the commercial is very suspenseful, and um, I believe it really um, keeps them interested, and it keeps them guessing what exactly what's happening. And um, for them to think um, that this could be them and that 
you know, it can happen to anybody is, um, it's, I think it'll hit them hard. Uh, my name is Aaron. Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, Nick. And what school are you representing? Grand Blank High School. Grand Blank, all right. Who would like to tell me about the commercial? M through metaphorical and symbolism, it just shows um, what, like, the, what underage drinking can do and what um, drinking and driving can do to you or to others around you. And what impact do you think this commercial will have on middle school students? Honestly, it's an extremely emotional commercial. Um, it's not, there's no like voiceover or anything, but the music is really dramatic and it, it's, it's pretty sad. So I think it'll just show them the emotional aspect of what can happen. Uh, Trevor, Tress. And Trevor, what school are you representing? Uh, Lake Orion High School. Excellent. Tell me about your commercial. I, uh, I made a commercial kind of illustrating the, uh, the hidden dangers of alcohol use. And what impact do you think it'll have on middle school students? I mean, hopefully it, uh, it scares them a little and kind of shows them that, like, even if, like, um, like the names don't show the danger, like, maybe the, uh, the side effects will. Hi there, and what's your name? John Paul Bastion. John, what school are you uh, representing? Uh, Royal Oak High School. All right, tell me about your commercial. Well, it's me driving my car, and I'm acting like I'm trying to, like, I'm talking to myself, trying to convince myself that I'm okay to drive after drinking, but I'm not. And so, and then at the end, you see the police lights, and I get pulled over. Well, what impact do you think your commercial will have on middle school students? Well, hopefully it'll make them make better choices if they have been drinking, or hopefully it'll just stop them altogether from drinking uh, so they won't drink and drive, be safer on the road. Uh, I'm Matt Clark. Matt? Emerson Pfeiffer. And what school are you representing? Uh, we're, we're, we're representing <laughs> Celine High School. Great. And tell me about your commercial. Who wants to talk? Sure. Um, well, our commercial is basically, uh, there's a voice sitting in his bed, and it's kind of a metaphor. Um, he pulls down the string on an alcohol beer bottle, and um, all his values, like money, school, and college, like all those things kind of rise up and get farther away as he pulls the beer closer to him, kind of uh, metaphorically saying that those will be harder to reach if you choose to drink alcohol. Oh, well said. Tell me what impact you think this commercial will have on middle school students. Um, I just think that, uh, like, our, the title of our video is Choose Your Values Wisely, so I think that it will make them think before they make a decision. What made you two get involved in Courageous Persuaders? Um, we're taking uh, video production two at Selene High School with Mr. Bush, and um, he had uh, everyone in the class submit a video, and we decided to choose this uh, idea for our video, and that's how we got here. Great, and would you recommend this competition to other high school students? Uh, yeah, definitely. It was a lot of fun shooting it and everything. And uh, Reagan Tire. Reagan, what school are you representing? Vicksburg High School. How far is Vicksburg from here? Uh, about two and a half hours. Okay. Well, thank you for being a part of this. Tell me what. Tell me about your commercial. Uh, my commercial takes place in a courtroom, and it shows the consequences of drinking, especially underage, obviously. And I'm hoping that with middle schoolers, it'll get them to think about drinking more and hopefully discourage that. I'm John O'Mammel. And John, what school are you representing? Rochester High. Wonderful. And tell me, your, tell me about your commercial. My commercial is called Me. It's very minimalistic. I just wanted to take some attributes that people have now and show how they can disappear once they add a couple of glasses. Very interesting. Sounds very creative. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to go too over the top, and I just ended up erasing words on a whiteboard, you know? Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works. Based on that, what impact do you think your commercial will have on middle school students? I'm hoping it'll spell out really nice and easy how drinking can affect you. I didn't want to go too big, and just I figured I'd just show nice and easy. I have the honor and the privilege to be interviewing John Barczak and his wife jo uh, Joyce. Now I have to tell you, John Barczak is the co-founder of Courageous Persuaders. It's 15 years ago, he co-founded it with the late Judge Michael Martone, and I am so honored to be talking to you, John. John, it's been 15 years, I mean, did you think it would get this big so soon? I had no idea how fast and how big it could grow. I think uh, uh, every, everything about it has to do with the talent and the energy of the kids. They, they uh, fire it up, and uh, since the, the Detroit Auto Dealers Association has taken over, it's really, really taken on a whole new glow, so it's very exciting. 
Oh my goodness, the talent yes. and all the commercials on yes. the screen there. Yes. And here we have a new venue. It's called it's Imagine Theater in Royal Oak. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Well, I am honored just to be here with the two of you because if it weren't for John here or Judge Marteau, none of us would be here, John. I mean, how does that make you feel? <laughs> it it uh, humbles me a little to, to think that uh, a little idea could become so big. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2015 Courageous Persuaders Award Celebration. <laughs> to host tonight's event, our master of ceremonies, the man of the 10 o'clock hour, an icon in Detroit news and a true gentleman, Mr. Huel Perkins. to this wonderful night. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. This is going to be fabulous. Whoa. As you heard the announcer say, I'm Hugh Perkins, but I'm pleased to be with you tonight for this grand celebration as we look at the achievements of some truly talented young people. And tonight we celebrate both the talent on display and also the messages that they are conveying because that is frankly the real reason we're here, to save lives. We're going to save lives tonight. Courageous Persuaders, of course, started with the goal of preventing underage drinking by targeting young people before they made some bad choices, delivering that message via high schoolers. Well, that way, we are addressing the issue before it becomes a real problem. Since then, we have expanded the focus to include not only drinking and driving, but also texting and driving. 
in keeping with the goal of keeping our young people safe by encouraging them all to make wise choices. The Detroit Auto Dealers Association Education Foundation, of course, plays a key role in the success of the program. Since they took the wheel in 2007, Courageous Persuaders has grown not only in scope, but also in participation and reach. In fact, this year, this year, the program drew 478 entries from 192 high schools, involving more than 1,000 students from 41 states and the armed forces of Columbia and Alberta, Canada. In fact, we are honored to have some participants with us tonight who have traveled from outside of Michigan. If you're from outside the state of Michigan, stand up and give you a hand. Right out there, thank you. Fantastic. That's wonderful. Well, we have certainly come a long way since the late Judge Michael Martone and Ad Executive John Barczyk from McCann Erickson founded the program. And I believe that Judge Martone's wife, Martha, is here tonight along with his son, Jamie. Please stand up so that we can give you a big hand for all that you and your family have done. Both sons are here tonight. Thank you so much. For those who never had the chance to, to meet Judge Martone, let me tell you, he was a truly remarkable man, a man who believed not only in family, but who believed in helping young people, making them responsible for the choices they made, but also giving them the education and tools they needed to make sure that their lives were better. He was a wonderful man, and it was his idea years ago when he was in court, and he had to adjudicate cases involving young people he wanted to be sure that he didn't see those young people in court. He wanted to educate them before, he, before they got there so that he would never have to send them to juvenile homes or to prison for the mistakes they made. And let me tell you, it is working. We thank you so much. You know, we're going to see some amazing things tonight. We're going to laugh a little bit, see some drama, some sadness, elation, all intended to convince our young people to avoid underage drinking, drinking and driving, and texting while driving. Tonight, we will present awards and scholarship money to the first, second, and third places, and the grand prize winning teams. Now, the grand prize winner will receive a $3,000 scholarship, plus the winners will have a chance to work with video professionals at Pluto Plus to see their video transformed into a broadcast quality public service announcement to be aired on Fox 2 and other stations. We have some special awards to present tonight as well, including a new award sponsored by the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. It's the No Texting While Driving Award. It's a $1,000 scholarship given to the creator of the winning commercial in that category. Also, State Farm has stepped up yet again, in addition to its regular $1,000 scholarship and the $2,500 Fan Favorite Award to the winning school, State Farm is now providing a $1,000 scholarship to the student creator of the fan favorite video. State Farm also brought its drunk driving simulator tonight, staffed by sheriff's deputies, courtesy of the Michigan Sheriff's Association. So we again thank State Farm for embracing Courageous Swaders, Persuaders and our other sponsors as well. From the College of Four Creative Studies, we have a $250 scholarship. Next up is the State Farm Award, the amount of $1,000, followed by the DADA sponsored $1,000 texting while driving award. Then the annual Friends of Lindsay Renee Cienciolo Memorial Fund and the Lindsay Renee Cienciolo Family Memorial Fund scholarships, each for $1,500. And of course, presented by the Cienciolo family, Michael and Allie. Again, thanks for your continued support. Now, one of our newer awards, the Auto Trader Award, is a scholarship for $2,000 followed by the Michelin Award, also $2,000. We also have the Courageous Leader Award. That's a $500 gift card and trophy to the outstanding student-nominated teacher, courtesy of the Wall Street Journal. Next, we'll have the Ad Crap Club of Detroit Award, a $2,000 scholarship from one of our longtime supporters, and then the $2,000 Detroit Auto Dealers Association Award, followed by the State Farm Fan Favorite Awards, with State Farm providing one award to the school and one to the creator of the video, as I've just said. Now, the fan favorites are chosen by votes from people who have viewed the videos on the Courageous Persuaders YouTube channel. Have you seen that? It's fantastic. By the way, the videos in our 
program or the YouTube channel have been viewed more than 230,000 times. So people are watching, attitudes are changing. All right, we're about to get to the heart and soul of this program. Before we do, though, we need to thank a few people whose hard work makes this night possible. First of all, thanks again to the Detroit Auto Dealers Association for helping to make this event bigger and better each year. And what do you think about the new venue? Isn't this fabulous? This is great. I mean, look at the size of this screen. A big thank you to Imagine Theaters and to the owner, Paul Glantz. He has really just gone above and beyond to give us this venue. And we thank you all for being here. Feels like an Oscar night, doesn't it? <laughs> Not bad at all. And by the way, you may have noticed on your way in that there was also a bowling alley in the theater. Well, guess what? After the event tonight, the uh, DADA has reserved several lanes. So if you want to, you can get your trophy and bowl too. All right. Let's also recognize Jennifer Helmer from the office of Secretary of State Ruth Johnson. Secretary Johnson couldn't be with us tonight, but she has been a longtime supporter over the years. Is she here? There she is. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And of course, this multimedia presentation doesn't just happen. We also have to thank TVS Communication Solutions. TVS, you're in the house. Thank you so much. Also, CMN TV will be recording the entire celebration tonight for broadcast on local access at a later date. Thanks for helping to spread the word. And Yes in Music. That wonderful music provided by Yes in Music. And they have been providing the soundtrack for this event from the very beginning. Thanks to Brian Yesian and Yes in Music for the music. Mike Tobias from the Michigan Coalition to Reduce Underage Drinking is also here. Mike. Thank you, thank you. Joni Rizzio is back as our red carpet interviewer, adding that Oscar night feel. Thank you, Joni. <laughs> Web marketing and press release posting on the internet is the job of Maley Ostele and Smart Finds. Maley, thank you, thank you, wherever you are. And of course, once the winning video is edited, it hits the air on TV stations throughout Michigan, including Fox 2. We could not do that without the help of Universal McCann. Thank you, great ad agency. And I can't say it enough, but we again must thank the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. It's one of the largest dealer associations in the nation, representing more than 200 members. But those dealers, the DADA, have dedicated themselves to giving back to the community year after year after year. There are also people behind a small event you may have heard of called the North American International Auto Show. Well, you know that's one of the best shows in the world. And in case you missed it, here's a short video that captures the spirit of a renewed and vibrant Detroit at the auto show. Thank you. 
fantastic. And guess what? The best is yet to come. Right now, I'd like to welcome Sam Slaughter, president of the DADA and vice chairman of the 2016 North American International Auto Show to the podium. Sam, so you. Thank you, Hugh Olin. I'd like to echo your comments about, wow, what a great venue. I can't wait to see these things on the big screen, as I'm sure you can't. Um, it, it's my pleasure tonight to represent Detroit Auto Dealers Association. I am personally very proud of what our Education Foundation has accomplished with this program and the life-saving impact that it has. And, and to you, the finalists, sure, you're competing for a scholarship. Yes, you're learning what goes, what it goes into being a professional commercial developer, but most of all, you are creating something with meaning, something that has the potential of saving a life. That is a pretty high calling, and you can be very proud of yourselves for taking a stand like this. We can't thank you enough for participating in this program. We receive a tremendous amount of support for this program. Hugh will mention most of our supporters whose logos are on the screen behind me. Remember, these companies also believe in what you com competitors are doing. And so do your teachers. They provide support for the program and a tremendous amount of support to you throughout the year, and we're grateful for the time that they spend helping you create these videos. Let's give your teachers a big hand. And then there's Huell and the great team over at Fox 2. We couldn't do this without you and really appreciate your support year after year. And I'll give it back to you. Hey. Sam, we thank you and all of the dealers throughout your association and throughout this region because, frankly, you guys do so much. I mean, not only do you sponsor Courageous Persuaders, but you just do so much for the community year in and year out, and we thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. Well, the issues that we address tonight, underage drinking, drinking and driving, texting and driving, can all have serious and even deadly consequences. And there's a certain group of professionals that are usually the first to see the results of some very bad decisions. Our first responders, EMS, fire personnel, and of course, law enforcement. Tonight, we are honored to have with us someone who in her distinguished career has probably seen her fair share of tragedy, but also her fair share of hope. Colonel Christy Kibiachu was appointed director of the Michigan State Police in January of 2011 by Governor Rick Snyder. Colonel Chu is the 18th director in the 97-year history of the department and the department's first female director. Please welcome to the podium, Colonel Chu. Well, good evening, everyone. You have to be uh, kind of careful around this microphone, I see. Well, I am Colonel Christy Etchu, and I'm the director of the Michigan State Police, and I, I also would like to thank the Detroit Auto Dealers Association to be invited here and spend some time with you this evening. Um, I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to actually give out an award, but just to spend a minute with you. Um, what's, what's interesting about this, these awards this evening is the fact that um, several years ago, the Michigan Office of Highway Safety Planning sponsored and housed underneath the Michigan State Police the very first awards that came out of the Courageous Persuaders. And we saw this program grow, and we see where it is today, and we could not be prouder. Programs like the Courageous Persuaders are invaluable in the state of Michigan, and it really talks to the problem of underage drinking. I can tell you, you are making a difference. We all know that individuals under the age of 21 that drink alcohol, it's a major public health concern. And alcohol is commonly used um, in the United States by our youth. And it's actually used more than illicit drugs and tobacco products. So as we come together tonight and view these videos, we know that other youth get to see these videos. And you are, like I said, making a real positive difference. So on behalf of the men and women of the Michigan State Police, many of you see the visible Michigan State Police troopers in their really bright blue car with that really red bubble on top. We are your partner. We are your partner in stopping underage drinking. And for that, I thank you for this partnership, and I urge everyone, teachers, 
community leaders, our Fox 2 lead at night when you're delivering the story. We are all in this together. And I ask you to continue to be that positive role model for others. So in closing, I want to say congratulations. I'm one of the first to get to congratulate you and, and all the student leaders that are here this evening. The hard work that you've done, I want to thank you for your dedication. I want to thank you for raising awareness on a topic that a lot of people don't want to talk about. So thank you for being here. And again, the Michigan State Police, we are your partner. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Etchew. And let me tell you, you are a role model yourself for many young women who now know that they can lead a police force in the state of Michigan and do whatever they want to. Perhaps become governor one day as well. Thank you. All right. I want you to know as part of the judging process, the effectiveness of these commercials happen to be measured by 39 middle school classrooms nationwide. They all volunteered as judges. And it may interest you to know that this year's commercials were so powerful that after just one viewing, middle school students exhibited an astonishing 35% increase in their sensitivity to the dangers of alcohol. That's up from 33% last year. Look, that number makes a huge difference. That's important because it's shaping opinions, shaping minds, shaping attitudes about drinking and driving, texting and driving, underage drinking. We thank you. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. You are the courageous persuaders. You've taken your passion for TV production, put it to a remarkable use. You're all winners by the mere fact that you have created a message that changes lives. You've entered the competition. And even more rewarding than a scholarship is the fact that your message is saving lives. Now, a lot of scholarship awards will be given out tonight, and it's important to mention that the scholarship money is to be divided equally among all team members. When you receive your trophy, you will also get an envelope with information on how to correct, collect your money, your scholarship awards. We also ask that the winning team stick around for group photos. We want to put you in the newspaper and have you on TV, too. Now, we showed the finalist commercials during dinner. I hope you all enjoy the variety and creativity. Now, please your attention, turn your attention to the screen where you will see the titles and producers of the finalist videos. Here they are. Look, some of the finalists are here tonight. Would the finalists please stand so that we can give you a round of applause if you are here tonight? There they are, the courageous persuaders. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you for being here. Now, a lot of awards will be given out tonight. From the finalists, the most persuasive of all will be awarded courageous persuaders trophies and, of course, scholarship money. 
I'd like now to call Maggie Lorenzetti from the DADA who will assist me and our presenters and winners as they come to the podium. When you hear your name, come up to the podium to get your award and please don't be shy. We want you to say a few words. We want you to, of course, thank your parents, your teachers, and some people like to thank themselves, but whatever you want to say, you're welcome to say it. Are you ready? All right, drum roll, please. All right, you can do better than that. It is time for your Courageous Persuaders Awards. We start with the College for Creative Studies Award, a $250 prize, and portfolio or real review and consultation. Ryan Ansel, the Assistant Professor of Advertising, will present that award. Ryan, are you here? Come on up. Thanks, you all. These are actual quotes from the middle school students who viewed the winner of the College for Creative Studies Award. It was funny. It makes you think about your future. I felt this really shows the long-term effects of drinking and how it follows you around and stays with you for the rest of your life. And the winner of the College for Creative Studies Award is Evan Gulak, Royal Oak, middle, Royal Oak High School, for the video Mr. Solo. Several months after the incident, Nathan finds himself at an important job interview, but the incident will never go away. I'm sorry, but it says here you were given an MIP earlier this year. That's not on my resume. But it's on your record, and it's always on your record. I thought I told you to go away. Yes, but I never really go away. It was a party, a mistake. I apologize, but we won't be interested in your services at this time. One day you'll be just like me, kid, solo. No, that's not a mistake I'm gonna make again. Well, I just wanted to say uh, to my family, to my teacher who's here tonight, to my friends, and to Courageous Persuaders, thank you. This means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Fantastic. Okay, now we go to the third place Courageous Persuaders Award, a $500 scholarship, followed by the second place award and a $1,000 scholarship, both to be presented by Sam Slaughter. All right. So um, third place award for Courageous Persuaders. And these are actual quotes from the middle school students who viewed the winner of, the, uh, of this award. It scares me into not wanting to drink because I want to follow my dreams and there might be a chance that drinking would take that away. I like the idea of weighing what you love to, what you love to something that could harm you forever and even kill you. I liked how it showed everything you are. And the winner of the third place Courageous Persuader Award is Matt Clark and Emerson Pfeiffer from Saline High School, Saline, Michigan. I just want to thank um, my teacher, Mr. Bush. He's not here, but I want to thank him for getting us into this project. And I never thought we would have made it this far, but uh, we did. So thank you. Uh, I would just like to thank my teacher, also Mr. Bush, and my friend Emerson here, and my parents for supporting me. OK. Uh, the second prize, uh, second place for Courageous Persuaders Award, and again, these are actual quotes from some of the judges. I liked how the ad showed, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> I hate this age. <laughs> Much better. 
I liked how the ad showed a better alternative to drinking and delivered the message in a funny way so you don't feel depressed and extremely down after watching the commercial. It showed another reason not to drink in a goofy way. And the third one is, I can relate because I don't have the money to be spending on drinking. <laughs> Second place Courageous Persuader Award winner is Daniel Gwynn from Vicksburg High School, Vicksburg, Michigan, for the video, Drinking is Expensive. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Yesian for letting me use their uh, music for my video. It really helped out a lot. I'd also like to thank Courageous Persuaders for having this. And my teacher, Mr. Smith, he couldn't make it tonight, but he for helping me put this together is just thank you. <laughs> thank you. Fantastic. And we're just getting started. This is amazing. Wonderful, wonderful. Next, our good friends from State Farm Insurance will present the State Farm Award. Please welcome Dave Smith to the podium. Thank you, Hugh. And thank you once again for allowing State Farm to be a part of this important effort. Our mission is to help people manage the risk of everyday life and know that they can realize their dreams. We can't think of anything more important than preventing such risky behavior as underage drinking, drinking and driving, and texting and driving. We are honored to be a part of this effort to save the lives of our young people so they can realize their dreams. Now I'll read the actual quotes from middle school students who viewed the winner of the State Farm Award. It was interesting, the graphics were really good, very effective. And the State Farm Award winner is Colin Arrowwood and Tana Santiago from Utica Center of Science and Industry, Sterling Heights, Michigan, for the video numbers. Congratulations. All right. Um, <laughs> um, I'd first like to thank Mr. Aller, uh, my great teacher, for um, showing me this, um, this competition. Um, I'd like to thank Courageous Persuaders. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents who've always supported me through everything. And uh, happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> and my grandma. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much. I'd also like to th thank Mr. Aller because he always pushes his students to do the best they can and uh, do what they're uncomfortable with. Um, so I'd like to thank him for being such a great teacher. And I'd also like to thank my parents for being so supportive throughout the years um, in my artistic dreams because a lot of parents, you know, they don't see the value in that, but my parents do. So I'd like to thank them. <laughs> You see, they thank their mommies and daddies. <laughs> Very good guys, congratulations. That's great to see. You know, you could see some of these guys again in Hollywood, you never know. They're that talented. Thank you, Dave, for the support of State Farm. You guys have always come through. And now it's time for one of our new awards, The Dangers of Texting While Driving. That's a $1,000 scholarship. 
Colonel Chu, would you please come back and join us to present that award? The $1,000 scholarship um, that is Dangers of Texting While Driving Award goes to Rashi Ungerwall from Morristown High School, Morris Plains, New Jersey. Sure he gets this award. Thank you. Thank you. Our next two awards are deeply personal and speak to the heart of what this program is all about. Lindsay Renee Ciansolo was killed January 5th of 2005 at the age of 20 in a tragic car crash caused by underage drinking. In addition to honoring Lindsay's memory, the Lindsay Renee Cienciolo Family Memorial Awards also rewards students taking the initiative to publicly denounce underage drinking and recognizes the winners for the strength and courage they exhibit in this endeavor so that fewer lives will be lost in the future. Tonight, two awards will be presented for $1,500 each, one from the Friends of Lindsay Renee Cienciolo Family Memorial Fund and one from the Lindsay Renee Cienciolo Memorial Fund. Those awards are made possible by the generous contributions of the Cienciolo family and the law firm of Hickey, Cienciolo, Finn, and Atkin. Lindsay's father and sister are here, as they have been every year, to present these awards. Please join me in welcoming Michael Cienciolo and his daughter, Allie, to the stage. Thank you, everybody. I do have to make a correction. Gabby Moot here is not my daughter. Um, my daughter, Allie, um, is on Alma's softball team, and they are currently in the national championship in Salem, uh, Virginia. So she had to uh, not be with us today. Um, I'd also like to thank um, my guest, uh, the Gwynn family. Uh, Daniel Gwynn and his mom are here today. Thank you very much. Um, my girlfriend, Debbie Monticello and Gabby's mom, Stacy Moot. So thank you guys very much. Okay, Gabby is going to announce uh, the first winner. Um, I'm told she's kind of nervous, but she'll do great. She's a student at the uh, um, IA Academy in Rochester. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. <laughs> um, actual quotes from middle school students who viewed the winner of Friends, and Friends of Lindsay Renee Cianciolo M Memorial Fund. It was very easy to understand, and I got it. I liked how the music was very dramatic and that it showed how all drinks could lead to disaster. It really makes you think about all the consequences and bad things that come with underage drinking. And the Friends of Lindsay Renee Cianciolo Memorial Fund winner is Matthew Morello from Forest Hills Northern High School, Grand Rapids, Michigan for the, label, for the video labels. Matthew couldn't join us from Grand Rapids, but uh, we congratulate him anyway. Okay, so I don't have the problem where I can read without my glasses. I have to take them <laughs> off. Um, actual quotes from middle school students who viewed uh, the winner of the Lindsay Renee Cianciolo Family Memorial Fund. Uh, it teaches you that there are consequences for, to drinking. 
I related to this because we don't understand what we are doing sometimes and how our life could change. It was more enjoyable to watch, but still got the message across. And the winner of the Lindsay Renee Cianciola Memorial Fund is Matthew Mellenbach, Millenbach and Melissa Millenbach from Gross Point South High School, Gross Point Farms, Michigan. And I waited until I was 21 to drink alcohol. And I'm going nowhere, man. And I drank underage. Because I waited until I was 21 to drink alcohol, I became very successful, which allowed me to buy things like this. And I can buy things too. Woo! Because I waited until I was 21 to drink. This is how I get around. Because I chose to drink underage, this is how I get around. Don't be like that, me. Wait until you're 21. Thank you very much for this award, but I think the most important person to thank here would be my sister, Missy. She uh, filmed it, edited it, directed it. She's, she was the real brains. I'm just a pretty face that you see on screen. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, thanks, Matthew. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents for being so supportive and my brother for being so cooperative. And uh, I'm going to miss him so much when he goes to college. So. <laughs> A great job, guys, and again, our heartfelt thanks to the Cianciolo family for turning what was certainly a personal tragedy into a message of faith and hope and for helping to change so many lives. Thank you so much again. The next prize is our first place Courageous Persuaders Award, a $1,500 scholarship. Sam Slaughter, it's your turn again. Okay, the first place Courageous Persuaders Award, and again, these are actual quotes from our middle school students who viewed the winner. It kept me involved and kept my attention. I liked that it was funny, but it was also informative. It was a very creative idea. And if you choose bad things, bad things happen. The first place Courageous Persuaders Award winner is Tucker Simmons from Career Line Tech Center, Holland, Michigan for the video, Beer or No Beer. All right, Jimmy, you've made it to the final round. Now you have two choices ahead of you. You may either take the beer or see what lies ahead. I think I'm gonna take the beer. Let's see what he's won. Our special guest is gonna take you away in the backseat of his car. Then you'll have your driver's license taken away and you'll be up to your neck in time. Don't worry, you'll make plenty of new friends in prison. I, I changed my mind, I don't, I don't want the beer. Uh, I'd like to thank my teachers, Mr. Walbrink and Jim, who were here tonight. And thank my dad who drove me here. <laughs> and uh, thanks for hosting this event because it was pretty nice and free food. <laughs> Don't drink. Fantastic. <laughs> now it's time for one of our newer awards instituted just last year, the Auto Trader Award, a $2,000 scholarship. Here to present the award is Chris Arthur, Auto Trader National Account Executive. Chris. Thank you, Hul. Uh, we'd just like to say that Auto Trader is really thrilled to be a part of this program. And I just want to read to you a few actual quotes from the middle school students who viewed this winner of the Auto Trader Award. One of the quotes was, it was dramatic. Another one was, I liked that it was an, an attention grabber. And the last one was, it was serious and realistic. Sometimes you just can't change a bad decision. 
And the Auto Trader Award winner is Tommy Durkin, Matt Lentz, and Matt Zhang from Barrington High School, Barrington, Illinois, for the video TikTok. Looks like they couldn't make it tonight, so congratulations to them, and we'll get them the award. Thank you. By the way, I use AutoTrader. Nice resource. <laughs> Next, our good friends at Michelin provide the $2,000 Michelin Award, presented tonight by DAD Executive Director Rod Alberts. Thanks, you all. Uh, before I present the Michelin Award, uh, I want to recognize two more people again and one more. Uh, John Barczyk and uh, Judge Michael Martone, the late Judge Michael Martone, brought this to me nine years ago, this idea at a meeting one afternoon at the DADA. But that meeting wouldn't have happened. They created this program, but that meeting would never have happened unless a gentleman by the name of Hoot McInerney, who just passed away a few months ago, wouldn't have called me and said, can I come by? I think I've got something you're really going to like. And Hoot's the kind of guy that had the eye for a, 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 good, a good idea and a good plan. And it fit perfectly into the, uh, the DAD and what we do in our program with the auto show and the DAD both. So a little uh, tribute to Hoot tonight, uh, Hoot McInerney. I think uh, you've heard the name a few times. And again, Judge, uh, the late Judge Michael Martone and John Barczyk, who's here with us. But John, would you stand up one more time? If you'd, if you'd get behind it. OK. Now for the Michelin Award. These are actual quotes from uh, a middle school students who reviewed the winner of the Michelin Award. Here are the, um, the first one. I like that it showed real consequences in a way that touched my heart. The sad story is relatable and can happen to anyone who drinks underage. I connected to the story it told. And the winner is of the Michelin Award, Daisy Vandenberg, Keisha Rye, and Tay Ray from Stevenson High School, Stevenson, Michigan for the video first and last. persuaders for allowing us to be here tonight we'd like to thank everyone and a special thanks to our leaders Carrie Ann and Aaron for being so supportive thank you great job ladies the original Supremes everybody there they go well indeed we have certainly come a long way since uh, the late Judge Michael Martone and John Barczyk uh, founded this program, and we have seen some spectacular videos over the years. You know, there's an old saying that I don't like to repeat. It's about good and evil. Well, I think this proves, Rod, that the good that men do lives on after them, not the evil. Well, we hear, see humor, seriousness, sadness, elation, and it's all targeted to convince our young people not to drink underage, not to drink and drive, not to text while driving. It's just an amazing story. Now we have the Wall Street Journal. Of course, you know that's an icon. It happens to be in the Fox News Corp family. Tonight we have Jeff Bennett, 
automotive reporter for the Wall Street Journal to present the Wall Street Journal Courageous Leader Award trophy to a very special teacher who has made an extraordinary contribution to the Courageous Persuaders program. Jeff. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to present this award on behalf of the Wall Street Journal to a most deserving individual. This teacher is clearly influential and admired based on what this nominating student had to say about him. And it goes like this. I am nominating my digital arts teacher for this award for the following reasons. He has taught me everything I know about setting up the camera for a shot and how to actually take the shots. He has taught me everything I know about editing video and making it look the best it can. He has also been available anytime if I would need help with anything. He is open to any questions that I have and I know that he would answer it to the best of his ability. The 2015 Wall Street Journal Courageous Leader Award goes to John Mosher, digital arts teacher at Howell High School and with Mr. Mosher is Isaiah Brockschmidt, who nominated his teacher. Are they here? Come on down. surprised by this so um, this is probably going to be the first time I'm going to be speechless in front of a student so but thank you Isaiah very much from the bottom of my heart thank Amen, you every word. thank you John, we have one more in the, uh, the DADA has also uh, scrounged up to some money and gave you a $500 wow. Visa gift card for you to use any way you want, including taking all of us to see Mad Max Fury Road. Let's go, let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that great to see? Proof that our teachers don't get enough credit and certainly don't get enough money. Again, another round of applause for an inspiring instructor. That's wonderful. Thank you, Jeff. Well, folks, we're getting closer to that grand prize, but there are still a few special awards left. Our next award is the AdCraft Award, a $2,000 scholarship. The AdCraft Club of Detroit is the largest advertising club in the world. Its members are who's who of advertising and marketing. They have been great supporters of Courageous Persuaders over the years. They've worked very closely with us to make this program a success and an extension of the AdCraft Education Program. To present the AdCraft Club of Detroit Award, please welcome to the podium, Phil Rezepka, AdCraft Club President. Phil. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm honored to be here on behalf of the AdCraft Club uh, to give the award. So some of the actual quotes from middle school students who viewed the winner of the AdCraft Club of Detroit Award I like the way it showed that you can't get away from the risks that you take by drinking. I liked it because a lot of the other videos were similar, but this video got its point across like no other, and the video was well done. And the AdCraft Club of Detroit award winner is Shane Ciora and William Woods from Lake Orion High School, Lake Orion, Michigan. Shane or Billy, I'm a girl. <laughs> um, I'm just accepting it on their behalf because they couldn't be here tonight. 
Um, I actually remember seeing this for the first time and I was like, wow, that was really good. But I had no idea what that first object was that they sliced, but it was, it was a liver. I had no idea. I thought it was like a piece of meat, but yeah. They did a great job. I'm sure they would have wanted to thank all the sponsors and our teacher. And um, they're going to be really excited when they find out. <laughs> Thank you so much, and thank you for explaining what that was. I, I, I didn't know what that was either. That's pretty good. All right, it's great to see that the advertising industry is uh, behind this event and this uh, wonderful program, and I thank the ad industry for paying my salary every year. I really appreciate that. Now, in addition to managing the Courageous, Courageous Persuaders program, the DADA is also sponsoring an award called the Detroit Auto Dealers Association Award, a scholarship of $2,000. And Sam, you're back at the podium. Come on back up. Come on in. Nice time. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're very creative in the name of the DADA, DADA Award. It's the Detroit Auto Dealer Association Award, as Huell says. Uh, and these are the actual quotes from our middle school, school students. The message was displayed well. I liked that it was creative, and I got the point simply and in a really cool way. Oh, I guess I gotta tell you who it is. <laughs> I haven't done this enough yet tonight. And the Detroit Auto Dealer Association Award winner is Catherine Salvatore from Pineview High School, Osprey, Florida, for the video Cool Kings. make it all the way from Florida, but we'll make sure they get the award. Thank you, Sam. By the way, that's a very nice tie. Uh, I have a newscast to do at 10 o'clock tonight. Do you think I could, could I borrow that? <laughs> okay. All right. Now I'd like to call Dave Smith from State Farm back to the podium to present the State Farm Fan Favorite Award with one award for the school in the amount of $2,500 and one for the student in the amount of $1,000. While Dave is making his way up, I want to tell you that the Courageous Persuaders YouTube channel has had, has had 17,000 views in just the past 28 days. The Fan Favorite Award winner received more than 4,600 views with 900 likes, an all-time record of likes for this award. Isn't that fantastic? All right, Sam. Dave, take it away. Thank you, Huel. And just wanted to remind everyone that these awards were decided by public votes uh, from the YouTube channel. So this goes well beyond our normal uh, judging procedure. The winners should be very proud of that accomplishment. And the State Farm Fan Favorite Award goes to Jair Otero from Linaway ISD Tech Center, Adrian, Michigan, for the video, Is a Text Worth Your Life? I'm Melissa Conklin, I'm the instructor for the program. Uh, Jair couldn't be here tonight, but he did, if he did win this, he had a, uh, written something. Dan, hey, I have a text from him. Actually, it was an email. Uh, he said, I'd like to thank God. Without him, none would be possible. None of this would be possible. Also thank his parents, his teacher, classmates. Learned a lot from them. And of course, Courageous Persuaders. 
for giving me the opportunity and other students to spread awareness of teenagers, the consequences of texting and driving. And then also like to thank State Farm. As far as for the school, I'd like to thank State Farm for sponsoring this award and everybody that also liked this award as well. It was very much appreciated. Thank you, Courageous Persuaders. Excellent, excellent. Of course, he was at home when he texted that response. Okay, we made it, folks. This is it. Time for the grand prize, Courageous Persuaders Award, a $3,000 scholarship to be divided among the team members and the chance to have your commercial air as a public service announcement on television stations across Michigan and in select Secretary of State branch offices across the state. Sam's daughter. It's your show. Don't steal my time, all right? <laughs> okay, whoop. The moment we've all been waiting for, although there have been a lot of great moments tonight. The Grand Prize Courageous Persuader Award. Here are the comments that uh, actual middle school students made. It makes me think about life because I want to get married and have kids, so I won't risk it by drinking. I liked that it showed positive effects from not drinking instead of the negative side of taking a drink. That made this video stand out to me. And it showed what just one drink could take from your life. The winner of the grand prize, Courageous Persuaders Award, goes to Ryan White from Grand Blank High School, Grand Blank, Michigan, for the video, Wait. There's more to life than what's inside that cup. Things like graduation, meeting the girl of your dreams, marrying the girl of your dreams, starting a family, watching your family grow up, growing old with the one you love. One drink has the power to erase a world of possibilities. Hi, how you doing? Um, I just want to thank, um, um, first of all, all my really great friends that I have in the video, and I'm really grateful for them and just for everyone who is a part of it. Um, I want to thank uh, my great teacher who um, showed me this competition, and uh, I really wasn't going to do it at first, but uh, after a couple days, he actually put um, the flyer in my hand and said, do it. <laughs> so I, I did it. And um, he's really great. He's like the best in the business. Um, his name's Jamie Nicholson, by the way. <laughs> um, I want to thank my parents, of course, because they drove me here. And um, they're also really supportive. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Outstanding. Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, Ryan White. One day. You never know. Great, great commercial. Great writing, great production. Fantastic. And what a great evening. Give yourselves a round of applause. All the winners, all the participants. Thank you, thank you. What a wonderful year. It took a lot of courage for all of you to reach this point. After all, you're promoting something that goes against conventional thinking. We need more young people like you. But before you all leave, a reminder that we'd like all the winners to come to the stage with their trophies so we can get a group photo of you for our press release as well as uh, for something we can post online. And I'd like to thank everyone, everyone who arrived and came here and who helped make this program great, who worked behind the scenes, and everyone who made this program a success this year and who do so year after year. With your continued support, we can continue to grow this program and make sure that children all over the country hear the messages that you're promoting. Of course, we are per supported by unsolicited donations from individuals and grants from private foundations, government agencies, and of course, you. 
If you know of any companies, foundations, agencies interested in helping us, please give them a call. And if you would like to make a personal do donation, you are certainly welcome to do so. You can do so by envelope. You can do so online. And you can register at the tables. Uh, there are envelopes at the tables uh, where you came in. And you can also talk to staff members with the DADA as you leave. Thank you so much for your consideration. Additionally, as we did last year, we are very pleased to offer the distinctive Life Link bracelets in three designs that truly represent the message of Courageous Persuaders, a courageous heart, producing heroes, and persuasive wisdom. And of course, keep an eye on Fox 2 News for your TV spots. They will appear across the state and on Fox 2, I assure you that, and at local Secretary of State offices. You can also see the commercials, all of them, whether they won or were just nominated as finalists, on our Courageous Persuaders website and CourageousPersuaders.com. Also, in the coming weeks, we're going to have photos and the entire award celebration posted on the website. And you can see the celebration eventually on your community access cable channels. Now, just a reminder that all students can pick up their certificates suitable for framing tonight, or they can be mailed. Just let us know. See Sandy Hurt before you leave, please. And once again, I'd like to congratulate everyone tonight. Thank you, thank you for a fantastic year. I know that the best is yet to come. Thank you, students. Thank you, parents. Thank you, teachers. You are fabulous. We'll see you next year. Thank you. The 2015 Courageous Persuaders Awards celebration is history. Hi, I'm Joni Rizzio, and let's talk to the winners. How does it feel to see your commercial on the big screen? Feels really, really freaking good. I was, <laughs> feels awesome actually. I did not expect to win tonight at all. I, I was shocked. A very happy, tremendous honor. And I like how you thanked your for sister for editing and doing everything there. Oh yeah, we're we're the team. Man. We're the champions. We got the team right <laughs> the champions, here. The yeah. team right here. Great. Well, congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'm from Royal Oak High School, and I won the College for Creative Studies award. And how much did you win? It was $250. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How did you feel when they called your name? I was, I was honestly, I was surprised. I was, uh, I was, but pleasantly surprised. I was very yeah. excited. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. What was it like to see your commercial on the big screen? Oh. Uh, it was funny, I guess. Uh, I wasn't, I mean, when I heard the comments from it, I could just tell it was my video right away, so. That's awesome. And, I mean, how surprised were you when they called your name? I was really surprised, actually. I was surprised that I was even the finalist here, so, yeah. Well, good. You deserve it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. We won the State Farm Award. And yeah. how much did you win? Uh, we won $1,000 divided up two ways, so 500 bucks each. Wow, so what was it like when they called your name? It was exciting. It was I really saw exciting. how excited you were. <laughs> yeah, it was really exciting. No, we won something. <laughs> and to see your commercial on the screen, what was that like? Um, it was amazing. I never thought I'd see my work on the big screen, so it was a great experience. And you're famous. Congratulations, both of you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. And Tucker, what did you win? I won first place for just as first place. How much did you win? Uh, $1,500. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness, I called your name. What was that like? I wasn't expecting it. And I was, my teachers were happy for me. They were sitting next to me, so that was that was cool. But. And then you got to see your commercial on the big screen. What was that like? That was cool. I was really excited about that, too. But. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. What school are you representing? Stevenson High School. All right. And what did you win? Um, the Michelin Award. And how much was that? 2000 Whoa. So they call your name. What was that like? It was amazing. I wasn't expecting it. Wow. And then you saw your commercial on the big screen. What was that like for you? That was crazy. I mean, we've been here a couple years, and like this is incredible. The venue is great. Wow, amazing. Congratulations, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell everybody what you won. Uh, we won a third place award for Courageous Persuaders competition. And how much is that? Uh, $500, 250 to each. Congratulations. Thank you. So they call your name. What do you? What, what is your reaction to that? Uh, I was just really surprised. I never thought we'd make it this far, but I'm just happy that we're here. Awesome. And how about when you saw your commercial on the big screen? What was that like? Um, it looked a lot better. Uh, yeah, it was just bigger. Bigger the better. It looked a lot better and bigger. That's amazing. Congratulations. Ryan, tell everybody what you won. 
Um, I won the grand prize. Yes, and you won $3,000, didn't you? Yeah. So they call your name, and you're the grand prize winner. Your thoughts? Um, well, I was just really shocked. I didn't really expect it or anything, so. And you seem really surprised. Yeah, really surprised. So then you see your commercial on the big screen. What's that like? Um, it's really cool. Um, amazing? I, yeah, just amazing. I don't know. I mean, it's like almost like speechless, but your speech was so eloquent up there. Oh, thank you. And I didn't know about who passing away. I'm glad you t let the audience know about that, too. Yeah, you know, that uh, Hoot's kind of guy that, uh, you know, he did so much for the community, and he was a great car dealer, as everybody knows that, too. But he did things in, uh, for, for people and children in the community that uh, nobody ever knows about. It was just his way. It takes that kind of people that uh, I think it makes a difference in the community. And, you know, Sam Slaughter is a good example. He's doing things right now that we're adding on to the program at DADA that we can, I think, touch a few more lives and charities to make a difference in, in, the, in kids. It touches our hearts, you know, and, and, and we all feel this is such an important part of awareness about the, the products we sell can be very scary in the wrong hands and uh, it's important you know it's just so special to see what these kids are capable of, of producing and you know Rod and I were talking about some of these messages don't mean as much to us as they do to each other because they're talking their own lingo and uh, it's pretty powerful Thank you both. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks again. It's uh, great to have you out here and being a part of it. So many years, 15 oh, years. My goodness, now. 15 years for me, but you know, what, nine years for you? Nine years, yeah, but uh, it's been a great nine years and uh, we'll do many more. That's the plan. Good. Well, that wraps it up for the 2015 Courageous Persuaders Awards Celebration Banquet. If you'd like to be involved in next year's celebration, log on to CourageousPersuaders.com. Again, that's CourageousPersuaders.com. And then maybe next year you can be right here and I can be talking to you about Courageous Persuaders. Thanks again, and we'll see you next year.